What's going on everyone, it's Ted Carr here today. We're gonna to be reviewing Dr. Josh Axe's Four Secrets to Get Rid of Acne Naturally. Let's take hey a look. Hey guys, Dr. Axe here from DrAxe.com. Today I'm gonna to show By the way, I got rid of my acne naturally just by eating a fruit diet. My skin was super, super bad before and all of my face, my chest and my back and I just ate a fruit diet and it went away all on its own within weeks. So let's see what he has to say. Here with you my four secrets to get rid of acne forever. And I'll tell you, this is probably going to be the most effective acne treatment plan you will ever hear in your life. I'm going to break down the top foods to get rid of acne, the top supplements to get rid of acne, Sounds the top good. face wash, also the top foods you must get out of your diet immediately if you want to get rid of your acne for good. Sounds good. Sign me up. The main causes of acne today is the buildup of bad bacteria, yeast, and candida in your gut and digestive tract. So if we're going to cure candida forever, if we're going to cure acne forever, there's a few things that you must do. And let me also say this, what are some of the cause of this? You may say to yourself, well, I don't know what caused my acne. I don't know what necessarily um, caused bad bacteria I didn't to grow know, in my I didn't, body, which again, I didn't is a know, major cause. Uh, I didn't know what was causing my acne either, but when I was first starting to get rid of acne, I tried everything. I thought it was like the face cream I was using. I thought it was like the shower from the water. I thought it was just touching myself. I thought my own fingers were causing my acne. I thought it was the laundry detergent maybe. I thought it was the cotton I was wearing. I didn't have a clue what was causing the acne. I was tempted to get rid of everything and just start from scratch. So we'll see what he has to say here. The factor, I can tell you this right now. If you have been exposed to or taken antibiotic drugs in the past, that can be a major causative factor. If you've taken birth control pills, For if sure. you're drinking chlorinated and fluorinated water, if you've consumed too much sugar, all of these things can increase the growth of bad bacteria, yeast, and candida within your body. So let's talk about our number one secret for getting rid of acne for good is remove these three foods. Number one, you've got to get sugar out of your diet. You know, sugar feeds yeast and it feeds candida. So we've got to get the sugar out of your diet. I recommend getting sugar out, replacing it with stevia. Stevia is an all natural, low calorie, no calorie. Hopefully he's talking about white sugar here, right? Hopefully he's talking about white refined sugar, or even coconut sugar, or whatever, right? Trying to get rid of processed sugar. Sure. Sounds good. Calorie sweetener that you can use instead. So use stevia. And if you want to use something that actually stevia is great, by the way, has sugar and you're baking, you're cooking, use raw honey. Raw honey is going to be your best overall sweetener with sugar. If you're, I don't know why if he's trying to get rid of all sugar and then he's saying, I'll oh, have honey. You're better off uh, just having date sugar, man, from a fruit. Trying to get rid of acne. The next food you must get out of your diet to overcome acne is reducing your grain intake, especially gluten. For sure. That made a huge difference for me. High five, bro. Get rid of that gluten. Get it out of here. You know, gluten can cause inflammation. That's it, man. I had bad acne. When I cut out gluten, inflammation went down big time. It went from being red, crazy zits, down to being like purple zits. The inflammation just went down. Of your intestinal tract. When you have inflammation of your gut, that actually shows up on your skin. You know, a lot of people think when you have acne or a problem like eczema, that that's just a skin issue. No, that's an intestine issue. That's a gut issue. If we can heal your gut, if we can kill off the bad bacteria, your acne and problems like eczema will disappear forever. So number one, food-wise, get rid of the sugar out of your diet. And I'm also talking about really lowering your fruit intake as well, really only consuming berry. What? Getting rid of fruit intake, bro, that's how I cured it. I didn't eat anything but fruit, and my acne went away. I eat unlimited fruit, and my acne went away. Why would you say get rid of fruit? Get rid of the sugar out of your diet. And I'm also talking about really lowering your fruit in Lowering your fruit intake. I upped my fruit intake, and it went away. Take as well, really only consuming berries in moderation for a time being, lowering your fruit intake getting rid of grains or lowering grains or at least going gluten-free with your grains. And then the last thing here is staying away from hydrogenated oils, obviously. Yes, get rid of oils for sure. Get rid of all the oils, get rid of all the grains, but focus on the fruit, man. You eat a diet of fruit and your acne is gonna go away, but the diet has to be really clean, just clean fruit, man. No oils, no grains. Add fats, increase the amount of oil, your sebaceous glands on your- Yeah, toxins live in fat cells. And when you're consuming oil, oil is pure fat. 
So you're giving more housing for all the toxins and acne is just toxins coming out of your skin. So when I went on a fruit diet, my fat intake went down big time and that my body had time to and a space to actually get rid of the toxins. I tore down the housing for the toxins, no fat. Your skin really start to produce. So again, getting those bad fats out. But if you can do those dietary changes, get the sugar out rather than using grains, using products with like with coconut flour, almond flour are, are good options. And then right, right, rather than hydrogenated oils, switching over to coconut oil is a great option for getting rid of acne. Now, Bro, at the end of the day, oil's oil, right? Oil's oil. Uh, there's obviously some like healthier oils and others, but fat is fat and oil is pure fat. There's no vitamins, minerals, or other nutrients in oil besides oil. It's just fat or some or refined fat, no enzymes, nothing. It's just fat. Let's talk about the top foods you've got to start eating to get rid of your acne for good. Three main foods you want to be getting in your diet. Number one, foods that are high in fiber, you know, yes, like fruits and vegetables. Fiber can actually reduce acne and actually kills off bad bacteria in your gut, increases the growth of good bacteria known as probiotics, which is very important. So fiber is really important to get in your diet. Your best sources of fiber are going to be seeds like chia seeds, flax seeds. Also, best source of fiber you want from fat? No, nah, you want to get rid of the fat if you want to get rid of the acne. I don't know if this guy's ever tried to get rid of acne in his life, but if you want to get rid of acne, you don't need a bunch of seeds for fiber. You eat fruits and vegetables for fiber, man. Get rid of the nuts and seeds if you want to get rid of your acne. So nuts like almonds, those are some great options. And then vegetables. Vegetables and sprouted nuts and seeds will help you get rid of acne. Another important aspect of getting rid of acne for good is balancing out your blood sugar levels. If you're consuming yeah. a lot of sugar, it's going to cause your blood sugar to go up and down. That causes bad bacteria to grow also causing acne. So the next nutritional step is consuming more protein, getting good quality protein sources like organic chicken and turkey, grass fed beef. Do you hear anyone curing their acne with incorporating more chicken, turkey and beef into their diet? No, there's no books written on how to get rid of your acne. Just eat more protein, chicken, turkey and beef and a bunch of nuts and seeds. No, man wild caught fish, organic eggs. These are all great sources of protein, even sprouted brown rice protein. All great Thank sources you. of heart attack cholesterol, man. Heart attack causing cholesterol. Good protein in your diet. Good protein. Will balance out blood sugar levels and help Bro, you. Bro, if you want to balance out your blood sugar levels, don't add more dead animal products in your diet. Just go work out more, do some fitness, get more sleep and eat good, clean fruits and vegetables. Lower the fat intake. When your fat intake super high from all those you know, dead animals that you're eating and all the nuts and seeds that you're eating. If you eat some fruit sugar on top of that, yeah, your blood sugar is going to go up. But if you keep the fat intake relatively low and you add the fruit and your blood sugars aren't going to go wonky, wonky, wonky. You get rid of acne. And last but not least, you want to consume healthy fats. The best sort of fat for getting rid of acne is the best advice I can give you. If you want to get rid of acne, cut out all fats, cut out all fats, cut out all fats. That's the fastest way to cure your acne, at least for guys. Girls maybe need some fats in their diet, but for guys, if you want to get rid of acne, eat a fruit diet, no fat. Coconut oil. I would get all other oils out of your household. I agree. If you're going to have any oil, have coconut oil, but not only trying to get rid of your acne. No oil at all. I really even wouldn't use olive oil in large amounts. I would use coconut oil for all of your cooking and for almost everything you're doing. Coconut oil also has antimicrobial properties, which means it's going to kill off bad bacteria in your body, which is going to fight off acne. So again, remember this top food to be getting, make sure you're getting healthy fat. The reason it took me so long to get rid of my acne is because every time I went on YouTube, I find guys like this who just give like shitty advice. Like part of it's good, I guess, saying like get rid of gluten. Like that's cool. Maybe if I just took that out, I'd get a benefit for sure. But then he goes on to say eat a bunch of dead animals and eggs and nuts and seeds and stuff. And that will not work. So if anyone's trying to lose or get rid of acne and they follow this guy's advice to a T, it's just, they're not going to succeed. If you want to succeed getting rid of acne, you've got to eat fruit, man. Eat fruit, eat fruit, eat fruit. Fiber and protein in every single one of your meals. And what this would look like is for breakfast, doing a smoothie where you put in coconut milk, a couple tablespoons of flax meal or flax seeds or chia, 
and then getting a good quality source of protein, like an organic protein powder. Dude, you're going to have so much gas all day long. You wake up and have coconut milk and nuts and then protein powder. How about I wake up and have a cantaloupe? Or how about you wake up and intermittent fast till noon and then break it on, yeah, some melons, some nice watermelon or cantaloupe or even just a banana smoothie. That'd be great. And doing that for breakfast, you're getting your fat, your fiber, your protein, and that's going to help fight. Yeah, but you're not getting any vitamins and minerals, bro. Where are you getting your vitamins and minerals from? Humans, we have such a high need for vitamins. We need tons of vitamin C. You're not getting any vitamin C from that smoothie. Supplements for fighting acne. Number one is taking a good quality probiotic supplement. Probiotics kill off the bad bacteria in your gut and really also help. So if you can be consuming probiotic rich foods like cultured vegetables, kefir, yogurt, amasi, different products that are higher in probiotics, that's going to help big time in taking a good quality probiotic supplement. About 50 billion IUs daily is what you want to look for in a probiotic supplement. The next supplement that will help big time is zinc. Why does zinc work? Well, zinc helps repair your gut line. If you're eating an organic fruit and vegetable diet, you're going to be getting enough zinc. Probiotics, I didn't take any probiotics, but maybe if you're just coming off antibiotics, you want to get on the probiotics. But I got rid of all my acne without any probiotics. I just ate fruits and vegetables. I think it naturally boosts your immune system. So taking about 50 milligrams of zinc a day, very effective in fighting acne. I don't think zinc taking zinc would hurt, but I don't think it's going to make a big difference. The, big, the biggest difference is going to be cutting out the fat, eating a fruit diet. The third nutrient and vitamin supplement you want to be getting in your diet to fight acne are antioxidants. I believe the one that is most effective is elderberry. You can buy elderberry syrup or elderberry. You definitely don't need elderberry syrup. You don't need antioxidant supplement, man, because you're going to be eating a fruit-based diet. And fruit is super high. Vitamins and vitamins are antioxidants. Vitamins are natural anti antioxidants. And fruit just has so many antioxidants. The highest, the highest antioxidant food on the planet is fruit. You don't need to take some freaking elderberry extract syrup or any crap like he's talking about here. Just eat fruit and you'll have tons of antioxidants. Or antioxidants. I believe the one that is most effective is elderberry. You can buy elderberry syrup or elderberry extract. You don't need put that. a tablespoon of that in your smoothie every morning for breakfast that I just getting rid of acne is more about what you're not consuming than what you are consuming. So put it this way. If you're eating a diet right now and you've got acne and you want to get rid of it, if you don't eat any food at all, you just do a water fast, your acne is going to go away so quickly. Because you're not consuming any of that crap that was causing it in the first place. Your body's finally have a chance to heal itself. Adding in stuff like zinc and probiotics and elderberry syrup and nuts and seeds and, and, and coconut milk and coconut oil and all that stuff you're saying to add in and chicken and all that shit, that's not going to get rid of the acne. What's going to get rid of the acne is your body cleaning itself. And eating a fruit diet allows the body to clean itself. The body heals itself. Okay? The body heals itself. And it can do so most easily on a fruit diet. You don't need any of these supplements he's talking about. To mention, if you do those three supplements, those are very, very effective at fighting candida. And last thing here, you can even also do one other thing to consider is doing a candida cleanse. That's basically where for about a week straight, you basically get all sugar out of your diet, all grains out of your diet, and really consume a diet high in probiotics, high in um, certain other foods like fiber, but really this is how you should be eating on a daily basis in general. Certain other foods like fiber. I don't think fiber is a food. And last but not least, when you're using a face wash, go and buy tea tree oil face wash. It, face wash isn't going to do shit. Again, it's like it's what you're not putting on your skin that's most important. If you don't put anything on your skin and you just eat a fruit diet, your acne is going to get so much better. I put so much money into topical stuff. Instead of spending $15 on a thing for your skin, spend $15 on some good high-quality fruit and enjoy yourself. Tea tree oil is completely natural. It's an essential oil and it kills off bad bacteria on your skin and moisturizes at the same time. So go and find a good organic tea tree oil face wash. So what are your four steps again here to get rid of acne? What's some things he hasn't mentioned yet. He hasn't mentioned any fitness. Doing vigorous fitness is super important. To look at any top Olympian athlete, none of them have acne that I've ever seen. No top Olympian has ever had acne. If you there's a top Olympian that has acne, please show me. I'd like to see. But typically, Olympians don't have any acne because they've been pumping their lymphatic system so hard for so many years. And uh, when you pump your lymphatic system, it takes out toxins. 
and it makes you sweat like crazy. Your skin just becomes super, super healthy. Some of the fittest people I've ever seen on the planet, some top professional triathletes have very clean skin because they're just pumping their lymphatic system so hard. So getting enough fitness in is really helpful as well for getting rid of acne um, and uh, getting enough sleep as well. Fitness and sleep are going to help balance out your hormones. When you get enough sleep, most people are so sleep deprived. But once you start getting enough sleep, you start sleeping like a baby. You start waking up with baby skin. The longer you sleep, and even if you take naps throughout the day, definitely a good tip to get rid of acne. Forever, number one, remove sugar from your diet, remove gluten from your diet and most grains, and then get rid of the bad oils like canola oil and vegetable oil. Switch over to healthy oils like coconut oil. So again, those are your food changes. Number two, let's talk about the foods you must be consuming. You've got to get healthy fats like coconut in your diet every day. All right, I think I've heard enough. We know the deal. We don't need to summarize that crap. The summary of the real acne cure is get in enough fitness, get in enough sleep, and get in enough fruits and vegetables. Drink plenty of water uh, if, if you're thirsty. That's not even a super requirement because you're going to be staying super hydrated with fresh fruit. I wouldn't be consuming too much dried fruit, if any, at all. If you do want to consume dried fruit, make sure to soak it first so it's rehydrated and then blend it up. And then just get out all the fats of your, out of your diet at least for a month, especially if you're a guy. Um, again, girls may be different with their hormones, they need more fat, but for guys, if you want to get rid of your acne, cut out all the fat and just focus on the fruit and your skin is going to clear up like crazy. I used to have terrible acne all over my forehead. Don't have any now. I used to have it all over my chest. I'll show you my chest. No acne on my chest anymore. I used to have it all over my back. No, no anymore either. All right. So that's it. That's the acne cure. Hope you got something from this video. I'm glad it could be helpful. Peace out. Thanks, Dr. X, for showing us what not to do. Healthy protein.